Hey guys, Genario Sky here with Let's Talk with Genario Sky. And I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina at Duff and Swat Art Exhibit. Tonight, so many talented artists around Charlotte is showcasing their work. Listen, when I say, is the, can you see this dope work? And I'm getting up and close with all the artists. So stay tuned. This is Let's Talk with Genario Sky. What's up, you guys? I'm with Miss Dup and Swat. Miss David, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So this good. event is just over the top, but it's needed. Yeah. I so, think so, so I mean, what what inspired the event? Well, first of all, I would like to say my brother. This was his idea, Dion Dub. This was definitely his idea. Just he just wanted to bring the artists that we house together, you know, to get energy going, to spark conversations, to chit chat, to talk about what's going on in the Charlotte art art community, um, what things we like, what things we don't like, what we need to do to change it, right. that kind of thing. We need to have these conversations so Charlotte can really be, you know, as dope as we envision it, you know, because we we can make the city what it is. You know, it's our responsibility to do that. And so this is the start. So how important would you say art is in the community, in any community? Art is like the air we breathe. You know, it, it impacts everything. Um, it's, it's a storyteller. Um, it's a stress reliever. Um, it just has the ability to change one's mood to... Um, alleviate a lot of different things art is critical it is necessary and so people need to treat it as such yeah it and saves lives art saves lives art saves lives so i mean you are an artsy person from the way that you dress to the way that you carry yourself the hair everything so what how did you get into this this creative scene of yours um honestly you know i got it from my mama no i mean you know you just born with a certain thing right um, and that's just been me I've always been a creative individual so this ain't this ain't nothing new you know it is what it is since day one but um, I think I've gotten more comfortable with it but I've always been that girl who got stairs you know and, and I since a little girl I've gotten stairs and I've got like people pointing at me and at first you know you're like what like why are they pointing at me am I, am I, why am I so different or do I look so different but I think now I have just come to, to own that, you know, um, that's, that's just me. Um, and so that's, I'm, I'm just comfortable finally with myself. And um, I think as I grow older, I'm learning to become more genuine and more transparent in everything that I do. So it is what it is. You see me, you get me at all times, you know, 100% all day, every day. So this art, I mean, who th this, who, who is this girl? So do you do, what do you do most of, do you do paintings, drawings, most, what, what do you do? So me, I typically work with fabric. I'm a stylist and a designer and a costumer, so I do that, but I paint as well. I did not do this work. Um, the artist Brian Wilson did this, it's a part of a series. He's actually working on five or six more pieces with different women, all natural women, um, so shouts to him. But I'm, I'm a creative, so I work, I can work with a lot of different mediums. Um, words. I'm a, I'm a poet as well. So, you know, I believe, you know, once you, if you're, if you consider yourself a creative, you often can manipulate different mediums. Like you're just not one lane, you know? So, you know, I can do a few things here and there. She, she, she's showing off, y'all. She's showing off. So what's your, what do you, where do you see Duck and Swat? Like your mission, what's your mission for, the, for this? Um, Essentially, it's just to uplift, um, to serve as a platform for Charlotte artists in this particular market. So here we have the studio located on the plaza um, where we celebrate local artists. We have different events in our space. You can rent our space. We have a retail portion where local designers can house their goods. We also have a location at Camp North End where we collaborate with yeah, different, yeah. yeah, you know, we also have a, where we collaborate um, with an individual or a local business to help promote their mission for every every six months. Um, and we're working on a few other things. We're working on getting into other markets. So it's really just about pushing the art and creative aesthetic. Well, you know, I can't draw, I can't paint, but would do you do te like teaching lessons here? 
So we can work, we work with different artists who can teach classes. Yes, yeah, so you're good. Just just come as you are. Yes, come as you are. Don't, no judge zone. Yeah. No judge zone. Oh, we, we all have our Listen, we all have our How can everyone stay connected to you, Dub and Swat? If they need you, how can they get you? It's Dub and Swat on everything. Like seriously, on um, social media, website, dubandswat.com. That's D U P P A N D S W A T.com. Yeah, but it's Dub and Swat everything. Right, well, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get some more, some dope art. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm with Jasmine, one of the artists tonight, showcasing her beautiful work. As you can see, we have this one, and we have that beauty up there. So, what inspired this? So, is it first a, a natural, natural girl? So, the title of this is Sun Kissed. So, it's supposed to be your average black woman who's in the sun. Her skin is glowing, natural afro. Um, and I, I added a little spark of gold in there just to add some flavor. And so the coloring, I wanted the contrast. So this is supposed to represent the sun. Um, the afro is the fact that our hair naturally grows up, gravity, um, and then the melanin in skin, the beauty of being dark and darkness in itself. So that's the inspiration for Sun Kiss. So I see, I see that with this one. You also have another one with another, you know, afroish girl with her body. Um, the inspiration comes from being self-aware. Um, being confident in your body, no matter the size, no matter the color, no matter the flaws, just loving who you are. Um, and so being able to take your clothes off, look in the mirror and say, I love every bit of me. I love the color of my skin. I love how black it is. I love how light it is. I love how nappy my hair is, how curly my hair is. And uh, just being in love with yourself. So a lot of the pieces that I paint is about love. Um, it's about self-care, um, being happy and just being free. So how long have you been painting and drawing? So I've been drawing all my life. Um, I actually never really painted. I did watercolors. Um, and then about two years ago, so I moved here in 2015. Um, so actually, no, last summer, um, a friend of mine was like, well, have you ever painted? You draw, when are you gonna draw again? So I said, I never really painted. Um, so I went and I started taking some classes at Painting with the Twist okay. over in South Park. Um, and I realized, okay, I really love doing this and I'm actually kind of good at it. So I started buying my own canvases at Michael's and buying cheap paint to start. And I just started doing whatever. Um, and I actually, that's from 2016. Um, never shared it. This is the first piece that I share with social media and friends. And I got so much buzz and so much positive energy from people. So it made me want to share more. So now I'm just on it. <laughs> now I'm on it. So when, when, how often do you paint? Um, as often as I am free. I mean, I work full time at Bank of America, but whenever I have free time, I paint. I paint. And I get something. I was just telling my homegirl that I got this idea today at work, and I'm like, oh, I want to go home and paint. So, y'all, we, we over here at the champ. We had to jump over here. We had to. So, listen. I mean, is uh, what the symbolism? What, what What is it? So, I got a funny story about this one, right? Um, I decided I wanted to see if I could, like, sketch again um, because a lot of the stuff I would do freehand um, and so with this one it was just random I found a random picture of Ali um, and I was like all right let me see if I can do it so I sketched it um, I started painting it and I messed up well I thought I messed up so I was trying to do the shading right because I'm still I'm learning how to blend and you know shade and all that so I was starting to do the shading and so this was all white right so all of this was dark and then I got mad so then I started going like this she, she, she obviously thought she was Ali. That's I started going Ali. like this, and then I was like, man, that's another one messed up, I'll do it again. And so I let it dry. I woke up the next morning, and I came out of my room, and I looked at it, I'm like, yo, that's hot. It is. That's hot. So then I took a picture of it, and I was nervous, and then I posted it on my social media, and I got so many hits. So this was a mistake, but a blessing in disguise, because it's so dope. Um, and it's, it's, I want to sell it, and I am going to sell it after I get prints, but I just don't want to sell it. I want to keep it for myself, but it's so dope. Uh, I think I want to put it on t-shirts or something, too. Um, and so I called it Ali. I was going to call it Everlast because his legacy is everlasting. Um, and it's just about strength, endurance, um, being black, being proud of who you are, um, giving notice instead of asking permission, um, everything that Ali represents. So... Yeah, that was kind of, it was a random one. It was a random one that turned out to be dope. I see you, you like gold. I see in a lot of your your uh, portraits, the gold splash. Yep. What does that symbolize for you? So gold symbolizes um, wealth, 
It symbolizes um, black beauty. It symbolizes the fact that we're always glowing um, and gold always glows. Um, gold is rich and I feel like black people are rich. And so everything that I'm gonna do, whether it's holding something, whether it's their skin, it's gonna be gold, it's gonna be bronze, it's gonna be copper, it's gonna be something that shines when you take a picture of it, when you look at it. So we shine. Um, and so that's, that's my inspiration. I, I love black people, I love black art. Um, and so this is just, this is what I see through my eyes. And uh, how, what your price ranges, what, what's your price range for portraits? Um, for portraits, they, they range by size, they range by the amount of time that it takes me to do it. Um, and so it, it really just depends. I don't really have a set price range. Um, you know, it, it could just depend. Um, and it also depends on the type of paint that I use. So whether it's acrylic or oil. Um, and I'm actually going to try to do some uh, wax paint this, this weekend, something new, never did it. Um, so I'm going to try that. So it just depends. It depends. You're in the beast mode. She's in the beast mode. And obviously, she in there going in. So again, let everyone know how they can follow you. Again, your paintings, what you have going on. Yeah, so my personal page is at October Jones on um, Instagram. My art page is pieces at pieces underscore of underscore inspiration. Um, there will be a website coming soon, which will be piecesofinspiration.com. Um, and when you do go on the Pieces of Inspiration um, Instagram page, you can contact me. Um, but if you're unable to go on Instagram, pieces of inspiration at outlook.com for any customs, any prints that you're interested in, um, any whether it's canvas or glossy, I am definitely working on that. Um, but in the meantime, I will hustle, 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 get you what you want um, in a timely manner. But yeah, that's how you can contact me. And my original, my real name is Jasmine McFadden. I'm from New York, moved to Charlotte in 2015, summer 2015. So a little, little over two years. Um, so yeah, that's me. Jasmine the Hustler. Check her out. Check her out. So I'm here with Adawina doing her thing. She is talented, guys. Like, we got to go over this. So first one, first one. Tell us what, this inspiration. What, what was it? Um, the Phoenix is basically a dedication to myself of everything I've gone through in my life, of being reborn, uh, dying in the ashes, being reborn out of the ashes, and starting new. Yeah. So how, is this like a therapy thing? Yeah, it's like a meditation to me, you know, therapy for me. Yeah. How long have you been how How long have you been painting and, and drawing? I've been drawing since I was, um, God, since I was like four or five, and um, I started picking up painting uh, little by little. I started out with watercolors, um, then I did acrylic, and then I started doing oil. So, acrylic and oil, are like the two main modems that I use now. So yeah. So I see a lot of big booty Judy's on here. So but, I mean, tell me about. The big booty Judy's. What? What? That inspiration. My ex is a, is the inspiration. Uh, she was the major impact in my life. Judy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's touch on the female and the peach with the water coming out of it. I mean, you know, they say you know, sweeter the berry, you know. But in my in this case, the peach, the peach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the peach is very juicy. Um, you know, when you bite into it, it drips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, got it, we got it. So we also, let's touch on this. This one. <laughs> um, I get it's the female, the tongue, the wings. She gives you life. Yes, yeah, she does. She, Yeah, she gives me life. Um, that one's titled uh, My Sweet Poison. Because, you know, she could be dangerous but sweet at the same time. Um, yeah, bring me life, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Your techniques, like, how do you begin? Do you begin with, first, is it, do you think about it before you do it? Or do you, do you just start doing it? I, I think about it. Like, it could be 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I could get up. I, it could be from a dream. Um, it could be I could hear a song in my head. Um, or I could play the radio and I just start going at it. And start going at it. I think what I feel. <laughs> so I asked you earlier, do you start, like, where do you start from? Do you start from, like, the back, the side? Do you start with the main image? Like, where do you start? I start with the background first, and then I go from there. Like, it's layer on top of layer. When I'm doing the oil painting, of course, it's layer on top of layer because you got to wait for each, one, each layer to dry. Um, unless I'm, like, continuously painting, then I just keep going with it. So I'm not a painter. I'm not a drawer. So when you say you gotta wait for it, how long does it normally take for a painting? Um, that size, it, uh, 12 by 6, what, 12 by 16, I believe? Um, 12 by 6. About like a week, 
if I keep going at it about a week, um, two, four to completely dry, I guess depending on how many layers I use, yeah, until it completely dries. So it could be longer than a week. So where are you going to go from here? Are you going to do a class or just keep it as a therapy, just something that you're just going to be doing on the side? It's my therapy. It's my passion. Um, ho I'm hoping to have a show, my very first show before the end of this year. So that's my next move. And then from there, I don't know. You know. I don't. <laughs> so uh, how can everyone stay tuned with what you have going on, even if they want you to you know, draw them some things. What? How can they connect connect with you? I'm on Instagram. Um, you can look me under Rican Ma 1980. I'm on Facebook, uh, Edwina Rodan. Um, I'm also on Twitter, Edwina underscore Rodan R O L D A N. Um, that's it. Well, thank you. Listen, guys. When I say these drawings will draw you in, they they will draw you in. Thank you. You? So you were saying that this is your first time doing this. Yes. So what? What? How did you even get into art? Um, well, I started doing art when I was younger, and then I kind of came away from it when I got married and started raising a family. I have I have seven children. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, five you boys, five boys and two girls. So now that my youngest is in high school, it was time for me to, because I'm just sitting at home by myself all the time, so I decided to get back into um, my art. So what would you say is the inspiration between, I see a lot of gold and, and I see a lot of, like it reminds me of China, like fine art. I love bright colors. Okay. You love bright colors? Yes, I love bright colors. You know, all the bright I love bright colors and I love flowers. So and most of my pieces are flowers, but some also are like it's aquarium right here and then here is um, the butterfly in springtime. And but my most favorite piece is the piece of domestic violence. Right, and I would like to, so let, let's touch bases on that. So it's like a spider web. This this is what I get from a spider web. Just. Uh, you know, different things coming together with the flowers and a stab in the heart. Okay, right. let, me, let me break it down to you, okay? Okay, the background is a storm because a lot of times in domestic violence and relationships, we don't see what's, what the person is going through like when they're in home. We only see the outside. We only see, you know, how they appear to us on a daily basis, you know. But this painting, it shows the background and what you call a spider web is actually it's a thorn bush okay and then the heart is trapped inside of the thorn bush and then the um storm and the lightning it shows the the turmoil and and all the things that go on in a bad relationship now the flowers on the outside represent the person and the tears, each flower is crying, so they, it represents what they're going through. Because you can see a person on the outside, their beauty and everything, but sometimes you look into their eyes and you see something just not right. So that's what, that's my interpretation. Her art is giving you a word. Yes. So I see you with your art. I don't see the ordinary paintings, I, or the ordinary uses of paint. What do you use? That's a secret. <laughs> Secret. That's a secret. That's a secret. So a lot of artists that I spoke with tonight, they say that it's, you know, therapy. So is it therapy for you? Yes, it is. It is therapy for me because um, I've been a stay-home mom and I have five boys and two girls. And when my oldest is 33, my youngest is should be 16 next next month. So I spend a lot of time to myself and. Yes, a lot of time, and when I'm at home, and there's, and I've gotten to the point where I'm tired of watching television, you know, so it keeps me busy, and um, it helps me to express myself, because my paintings are me, you know, so, yeah. And, uh, so, as an artist, because you are an artist, yeah. um, what sets you apart from other artists? I think my creativity. Okay. I, I've been told that my art is different. It's not different. And um, I'm 
I guess this is me. What you see is me. So it just sets me apart because I am an individual. This this is you're looking at Jay Marie when you, when you look at my artwork. She even has the, the 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 name, the name, the name, Jay Marie. So you one of your paintings, um, is it a is it um, I heard that it's your sister. Are you painted your sister? Yes. This yes. Is my sister. Um, I painted her as she's into the Korean life, lifestyle. She watches the Korean dramas and everything you know, on a daily basis. And I did this for her. Um, it's, a, it's a black, I called it Black Geisha. But actually, it is my sister as a geisha. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You guys, do y'all see that painting? Now, that is, if that's not a gift, Tell me what it is. So how can everyone, you know, connect with you if they want paintings, if they want to see more of your work, how can they connect with you? Okay, well, since I'm new at this, I don't really do social media, no. but I do have an Instagram, oh, okay. Okay? okay? And my okay. paintings are on my Instagram, and it's jmarie53. Okay. And it's jmarie53 because that's my age. I'm 53 years old. Yes. So it's jmarie53. So jmarie, right here, Instagram, jmarie53, you can look at her beautiful, listen, listen, y'all see it, it's dope, it's dope.